Yo, what up, crackers? It's your boy, Short Ball and Run Bad here. <laughs> woo woo! Yo, what's up, doofus? <laughs> what's up, doofus? Now today I want to talk about a show that is very special to me. It's a show that I grew up with and I'm sure a lot of you also grew up with. If, if anyone even watches this. And of course I'm talking about Dragon Ball. The original 80 something Dragon Ball. It's a Japanese animated show based on a comic book by the same name written by Akira Toriyama. It was one of my favorite shows as I already said growing up and I decided a few days ago you know I got a little nostalgia burst and I decided to you know rewatch it. You know relive the memories. Now from what I remembered as a kid you know this show had a lot of action, martial arts, adventure, fantasy, magic you know and all that good stuff all the stuff that a lot of you know children love. <laughs> now what I don't remember from this show is uh, child and underage nudity, multiple rape attempts, fully displayed nudity in porn mags and such other things, and a literal pedophile is one of the main protagonists. Now a thing that we all need to remember is the fact that this is a show from the 80s. Now 80s were much different from today, especially in Japan. In 80s, uh, Japanese shows managed to get away, uh, get away with mu much more than they do today. Now aside from the things that I already mentioned, this show is insane. It has a lot of balls and it has, it has a lot of vulgar humor, it has a lot of violence, it has a lot of, as I already said, nudity and a lot more things. So what I decided to do is I gathered some clips from various episodes of the show which I found interesting and I'm gonna share them with you and I'm gonna review them with you. Now also do keep in mind that I decided to watch it in the original native Japanese language with English subtitles of course. So a lot of dialogue is different from the English version and in my opinion it's much better because it's much more explicit. Like <laughs> they have the... you'll see. <laughs> okay, so here we have a pretty typical anime scene. We have our hero and our villain, you know, talking shit. Setting the mood, if you will. You have Goku saying things like, I'll knock your lights out. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to die. <laughs> Holy shit. Calm down, Goku. You no, know, for someone who is a protagonist, that seems kind of aggressive to me. I mean, this General White, he didn't really do anything terribly bad to Goku in order to make him want to kill him. <laughs> I mean, you should stop him at all, but. Killing him, that's that's a bit too extreme, especially for a cartoon show. Goku, you're a fucking savage. Okay, now we see Goku giving General White a pretty serious beating. Like, I don't think he's kidding when he says that he's gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> General White, I'm <laughs> prepared to fucking die. <coughs> <laughs> How fucking dare you stop me from murdering this man? You, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself, Hachan. <laughs> Fuck! I guess I didn't beat him hard enough. I was hoping that he would be bleeding on the ground, gasping for air or something, but he seems to be just fine. I guess I wasn't harsh enough. Hmm? 
He barely escaped death. <laughs> Holy shit, Goku. Like, he's like, just to make sure if I continue, he will be dead. So, uh, thanks to Hachan, he barely escaped death. Because I would have beat him to fucking death. Okay, so now in between this scene and the next scene, uh, a lot happens that I skipped over. So basically, uh, the General White, the villain, he had a gun hidden in his pants and he pulled it out and shot Goku in it. Making uh, the big, you know, the big robot guy, Hachan, think that he is dead. Let's see how he reacts to that. <laughs> Okay, he is pissed. Look, look at the poor General White. He legit seems scared. Like, he's like fucking shaking, holding his gun, yelling, die, die. This is fucking suspenseful. Let's see what happens next. General White, you poor motherfucker. You're a bad person. I have to get rid of you by fucking killing you with my fist. With my big fucking fist. I will get rid of you. He's dead. Rest in peace, poor General White. Or rest in pieces. <laughs> this is one of the most brutal fucking deaths I've ever seen in my life. He got punched so fucking hard, he broke through the window and flew over the fucking mountain. His, corp his corpse must be so fucking mangled. Like just imagine someone like just walking, you know, down, you know, just walking around in, in the mountains, you know, why not? And just like this fucking mangled ass body just drops in front of him. Oh my god, like this... This was fucking intense. Okay, now let's move on to the next scene. So in this next scene, we have a very different situation. So Goku is being chased by this assassin who's being hired by Red Ribbon Army to, you know, to kill him. So while watching him, this assassin decided that maybe uh, aggressive approach isn't the best and she should use a tactical approach. So what she does is she hires a few thugs that Goku beat up earlier in that episode. So she makes herself look like, look like she's being, like she's a victim of these two thugs and just as you know our characters are approaching they make this whole scene where they're like robbing her and she calls for help let's see how goku reacts to this <laughs> Whoa, okay he didn't really stop the helper he just kind of ran past her I guess killing those thugs is more important than seeing if this woman is okay. Alright, Goku. Okay. Okay, so he does eventually come back. Let's see how he talks to this woman. Hey, you get up. Goku, you fucking alpha. Now usually someone would say, are you okay lady, do you need any help? You're like, hey you bitch, get up! Stop wasting my fucking time by you with your bitching! Don't be such a fucking drama queen! Get on your fucking feet! Walk away, ya pussy! Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, make sure you tune in next week for the part 2 of this video where I will be dissecting two more scenes, or actually three more scenes. Well, as always, uh, see ya, I guess.